Write down the term-to-term -term rule for each of the following sequences. Each rule has two operations. In each case, find the next number in the sequence. So sequence A is 2, 5, 14, 41, and B is 4, 9, 19, and 39. All right, so writing out the terms and maybe with a bit of space in between each, each one. Now, I noticed if I was to do, I could do 2 times 2 and get uh, 4 and add 1. But then if I do 2 times 5, I then add 1 and don't get 14. So if I now try something like 2 times 3, and it gives me 6 and perhaps take 1, it gives me... Uh, Five and then if I do three times five, that's fifteen. Take one, that will probably give me fourteen. So let's try that. So one good idea maybe is to first of all multiply the previous term by three. So two times three will give me six. I'm going to put that underneath the five. Three times five will give me fifteen. Three times fourteen will give me forty-two. Right, now, if I now take 1 from the 6, that will actually give me the 5, which is what the term of the sequence. If I take 1 from 15, that will give me 14. If I take 1 from 42, that will give me 41. So, it looks like the rule is, multiply the previous term by 3 and then subtract 1. So if I now apply it to this, multiply 41 by 3, and then take away 1, that will give me 122, as being the next number in that sequence. B, I've got 4, 9, 19, 39. So let's do uh, 4 times 2. That will give me 8, and if I add 1 to 8, I get 9. So that looks okay. Let's have a try the next time. Uh, 2 times 9 gives me 18. 18 plus 1 will give me 19. 2 times 19 will give me uh, 38, but if I add 1, I get 39. So it looks like I've found the rule. So first of all, let's just check, multiplying each term by 2. So 2 times 4, putting underneath the 9, that gives me... Um, 8... 2 times 9, that gives me 18. And then 2 times 19, that gives me 38. Now if I now add 1, so 8 plus 1 will give me 9. 18 plus 1 gives me 19. And then uh, 38 plus 1 gives me 39. So it looks like the rule will be, multiply the previous term by 2 and then add 1. So notice this is only a way of this is only finding the term to term rule. So in order to use this you do need to know the previous term. Okay, so this has been a video to show you how to find term to term rules where the rule has two operations and then finding the next using that to find the next term in the sequence. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.